But I can't really, I can't really go uh, like I'll go a day without no lean. How much money have you spent on lean? Bro, I'm like honestly, total, all together. Over oh, hundred thousand. Famous Dex is a name often associated with the multi-talented new wave artist from Southside Chicago. The Pick It Up MC had a huge impact on the rap scene as he became a fan favorite because of his unique flow and audience interaction. This is the Dex we all want to remember. If you're watching this video, chances are you are aware of the unfortunate situation that took place. But if you've missed the recent events, here's why fans all around social media have become concerned with the rapper's health and his music career, especially after hearing his most recent album, Diana. In the video, we want to explore many facets of Famous Dex's downfall. Before we dive in, make sure to leave a like on this video if you're a supporter of Famous Dex. Also, if you'd like to join this month's giveaway of a brand new iPhone 12, then all you have to do is subscribe to the channel and watch this video until the end to find and comment the hidden message. Good luck! The Origin Dexter Taiwan Gore Jr., born September 6, 1993, grew up in Englewood in the south side of Chicago, one of the most dangerous neighborhoods in the city. Dex, who was named after his father, was the fourth youngest of 12 children. Before living in Chicago, the musician's family lived in Harlem but had to move several times to maintain a safe childhood for kids, especially after a tragic family incident changed everything. Artist's elder sister was gunned down in a drive-by shooting while exiting a local McDonald's seven days before her first birthday in late 1994. But his sister's unfortunate passing wasn't the only tragedy that Dex faced at young age. In January of 1997, the rapper's father was sentenced to death after he was found guilty of drug possession and assault. The ex-military veteran was executed that September. A couple of years later, Dex was encountered with another bout of grief after his grandmother tragically passed away. On September 11, 2001, his grandmother was at the World Trade Center when the terrorist attack took place. At first, the rapper's family thought she would make it out alive, but sadly, Dex's grandmother passed away eight days later, after suffering an afterburn. With so many heartbreaking events taking place at such a young age, it's no wonder that the Chicago musician was a problematic child. Dex attended the Hernandez Catholic Middle School and Paul Robeson High School. Throughout his school years, the rapper had been kicked out more than once. Some might not know that the upcoming star went to high school with fellow rapper Lil Duck and is related to Lil Whoop. Dex claims to have been selling drugs and spending much of his time hustling in the streets before rap, even though his music never spoke about violence and crime. It is noteworthy that while living in Harlem's dangerous, crime-riddled street, Dex's apartment complex was used as a setting on part of the 1995 famous crime drama, New Jersey Drive. When the movie premiered, it caused Dexter's emergence of interest for hip-hop and R&B. How it got started Famous Dex is one of those people who use their worst times as a motivation to push forward. In 2011, 17-year-old artist to be was attacked by a duo of gangsters in his own apartment. Dex was stabbed six times in the torso, shoulders, and back. He was left for dead. Dex spent eight months in a hospital, and after he rehabilitated, he decided to become a rapper. He was nicknamed Black Migo Dex by one of his friends for being an African-American Muslim. In 2013, his respective remixes of Chief Keef's Kobe and in 2014 with Dej Love's Try Me received the enormous attention. Later on, he released his first single, Bottle After Bottle, although after a short period of using the stage name, he decided to rename himself Famous Dex. Rise to Stardom his decision to pursue a music career seriously was prompted by the loss of his mother. In early 2015, his mother died after a seven-year battle with breast cancer. This is why he got a pink ribbon tattooed on his face and her name on his neck. It was after his mother's tragic passing that the rapper's career changed forever. Dex's rise to prominence began in late 2015, first when he self-released his first mixtape, Never Seen It Coming, and then with his Dexter's Laboratory mixtape, which birthed some of his biggest songs like Ho's Mad, Swag, and most notably, Two Times. In March 2016, Gore announced that he was officially signed to Rich and Kid's label, Rich Forever Music, which gained him a massive following. In October 2017, he released Pick It Up, featuring ASAP Rocky. Its singles Pick It Up and Japan peaked at number 54 and 28 respectively on the Billboard Hot 100. Chicago native MC managed to collaborate with artists such as ASAP Rocky, Tyga, Rich the Kid, Lil Baby, and Wiz Khalifa, who happens to be his favorite rapper. Controversies and Scandals Dexter's rise to fame wasn't always linear, as he was frequently wrapped up in controversy. One highly publicized scandal happened in September 2016, 
when he was caught on camera striking his girlfriend repeatedly. The footage was shared by Teich Hyman, a respected songwriter in the hip-hop industry, as the assault reportedly took place in a hallway in her apartment building. Dex lost an endorsement deal with Puma as a result of the incident. He responded to backlash by showing regret but also pointing out that the victim had cheated on him. As we mentioned, Rich signed Dex to his Rich Forever imprint in 2016. Dex surprisingly left the label in 2018 and their relationship has never been the same since. Rich the Kid later claimed that Dex was too high and just upset his album wasn't released. But their roller coaster relationship didn't stop Rich from helping Dex in his hard times. The Downfall as Dex moves into a new era in his music, he proves his come-up is far from over, says the captain on Famous Dex's new documentary, which is accompanied with the album Diana. Diana is rapper's first album since 2018 and is dedicated to hip-hop artist's late mother. Dex was building hopes on his 17-song project, but his comeback didn't go as planned. The album dropped on October 9, 2020, and the first two weeks it didn't even make the Billboard 200. The only feedback he was receiving was negative, especially after he shared a controversial Instagram post lying about trending on Apple Music. This disappointment reflected on his mood very harsh. On December 19th, 2020, he uploaded a video of himself being intoxicated, then he tweeted, I don't want to smile no more. While it wasn't the first time Dex had concerned his fans with his well-being, the rapper's tweet went instantly viral. Several days later, he posted a new video, where he was heartbroken because of so many people showing fake worries, including DJ Academics. After that video, everybody knew he needed help. Latest news. Rich the Kid showed massive support to Dex. He picked up the rapper in his expensive Rolls Royce and flew him to a rehabilitation facility in his private jet. Rich kept giving fans a proper update about Dex's health. Our beloved Dexter said, I learned so much those 22 days, and we really think he means it. Where is Dex now? Less than 30 days later, he is back home and claims that he is feeling better. In the video shared to his Instagram story on Friday night, January 22nd, Dex looked noticeably healthier as he danced and posed for fans. There's nothing more to be said than to congratulate him for moving on from this chapter in his life. Let's wish him to stay strong and let's keep listening to his music in order to support and keep the talented artist moving. And that brings us to the end of today's video. Is there any important information about famous Dex that we missed out on? Let us know your thoughts in the comments section down below. Also, don't forget to leave a like on this video and if you're new to this channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button for all future content. Thanks for watching. Until next time.